hello everyone uh, today we are going to discuss on the chapter constructors and destructors now let's understand what is a constructor constructor is nothing but a special member function which is used to initialize the data members or the objects of class automatically such functions are called as constructor now let us take an example where i define a constructor inside class definition or outside class definition so a constructor can be defined either inside a class or outside a class definition so let's see that i've created a class a two private members x and y and one constructor constructor is same name as that of a class a so i'll initialize the values of x and y as 0 so this is a constructor which is inside a class i've completed the class here now if i want to define the same class same member function outside the class so how do i do that say class a this is declaration of a constructor my class ends over here then if you want to define a constructor outside the class i use scope resolution operator this is used when you want to access any private members outside the class we use scope resolution operator so i create here i which is equals to 1 so this becomes your constructor so this is a constructor defined outside your class the constructor defined inside the class now let's try understanding why we require constructors in our program Now, if I write a small program here, where I have initialized a and b is equals to 100 and 200, can I do like this? We cannot write like this in C++. This is invalid. It's because if you want to initialize the data members, you have to initialize through member functions of same class. we cannot initialize values like this if at all you want to initialize the data members then you have to do it with using constructors so writing this way uh, is absolutely not valid now what i do is i'll uh, create a get function here which is initialized as a and b equal to 10 and 20 and i'll display it here then i'll create a main program and i'm going to create an object t of class test so i'm going to call this function t dot get so when you call a function your control transpose here initialize the values of a and b display it now what if i have made mistake of writing this t dot get if i forgot to write this function call function and even then i want to access the data members so in such cases we cannot call the values it's because you cannot initialize the values even if you initialize you have to call it using member functions now if i don't call this function again you get an error so in such cases if you want to initialize the values without calling a function then we go for constructors whenever i want to initialize the data members without calling a function i go for constructors now let's see how to write a constructor or what are the rules that we need to follow for writing a constructor function now whenever we create a constructor 
he should always keep in mind that the name of a constructor and class both should be of same type it should have same name because compiler will identify this as a constructor if you don't write same class name then compiler will treat it as a function but not as a constructor constructors also do not return any values we don't even write void in front of any constructor we never return any values for the constructors constructors should be always defined under public section constructors is invoked or called automatically when objects are created that means whenever you create an object your values are automatically initialized we also cannot refer the address of the constructors so these are some of the important rules where we have to keep it in mind before creating a constructor function let's see how to write a program to use a constructor i'm going to create a class counter counter is a constructor where i'm initializing it to 0 i'll create a function which is of uh, increment incrementing count so i say a++ i'm going to create one more function get count so in get count i'm returning the value a so I've, i'll write it as int here coming to your main program i'm going to create two objects c1 c2 of class counter then i'm going to display the values of c1 c2 so when i say c1 dot get count control goes here you are returning the value of a what's the value of a it's 0 so when i'm going to call c2 dot get count again control transpose here you are displaying the value of a it's again 0 next i'll call c1 dot increment count function so transpose here control gets transferred here so c1 dot increment count so initially the value of a is 0 so i'll increment it by 1 a++ plus plus means increment a value by 1 so 0 becomes 1 again i call c1 dot increment count so when you create an objects the values are initialized so initially it was 0 you incremented 1 you come back next time when you call again the values is 0 so when you increment it becomes 0 plus 1 not 1 plus 1 because this is a different memory where you have created this is different memory where you have created so the values will not remain previous value both the values will be different so here c2 it's 0 plus 1 it again remains 1 so again you are going to call c1 dot get count c2 dot get count when you execute this this is what you get an output so c1 and c2 initially it's 0 once if you call this after incrementing you get c1 as 1 and c2 as 1 but not 2 next concepts will discuss in our next video thank you